Hey guys, what is up? Shadowlands back another review. Unfortunately today, I'm reviewing, in my opinion, one of the worst guns Combat Arms has ever released. I'm talking about the shit to the slop. This is the L85A1 camo. A very, very high rank GP weapon, although, in all honesty, I don't think they could have released a worse gun if they tried. So honestly, with shit guns, you're going to see shit gameplay. So honestly, what you see today is nowhere near my best. I can't even begin to describe how bad this gun is. The only gun I can think off the top of my head that is worse than this gun is the TAR-21 camo you'll be seeing coming out soon, um, if not on the same night. Both of these guns are incredibly similar, except for one fact. Basically, if you take the shit that the TAR-21 camo gives you, give it a little more, a little less damage drop off, take away the ability to put on a scope, and uh, make the overall spread higher equal-ish, I'm not sure, somewhere there, it's definitely not lower, um, that's what you get when you get this gun. This gun is also a lot louder in my opinion. So I'm going to hop right into the stats, uh, unfortunately. So restrictions on this gun are Colonel 2. It makes me sad to think that I unlock this gun for real at the next rank. I'm going to regret ever having to see this gun again. Uh, the popularity is very, very low, especially due to the rank, and it's hard, you can get this gun out of GP, uh, uh, Miss G, Miss G cases, I think that's what they're called, the GP ones? I don't know, I never buy them. Um, anyway, the ammo capacity is 30 of 90, typical assault rifle. Obviously it has the camo feature, and honestly this camo isn't that bad, even if it looks like shit, quite literally. I mean, this camo is actually useful on some maps, unlike other ones. Um, so once again, I apologize for the crappy gameplay, because I mean, I could not possibly be worse with this gun. But I don't exactly blame myself in this scenario, I blame Nexon for releasing such a piece of shit. Just, I forg forgive my language, I don't have any other way to describe this gun. I it made me mad just to have to use this gun. The only reason I did this review now is because I got it for free out of the weapons that I did, and it's one of the higher ranked weapons that I don't have access to yet, so I wanted to get the review out of the way while I can. Anyway, statistics. Damage is 43. That's actually a little above average, and the damage drop off isn't really that bad, so the damage is actually fine. That's not one of the bad parts about the gun at all. The portability is 55, so it's slightly heavy, maybe average for an assault rifle. The rate of fire is 74, so that's actually a little above average as well. Now, you may be thinking, all right, well, statistically, this gun sounds great. This is where it hits the shitter. The rate of fire of 74 and the accuracy of 85 may be good, and the accuracy of 85 means you can tap and the first bullet will hit almost dead on. But the recoil of 78 is a fat lie. The recoil might as well be something like what? A 90? This thing has more recoil, well not necessarily recoil, but the spread gets worse than the minigun at full spray, which is ridiculous. You could be jumping, firing full spray with a minigun, and this would have higher spread. And with a lower fire rate, that doesn't exactly help. So, while they may have buffed it up statistically, and statistically this may seem like an excellent gun, especially due to the fact that you can't put a scope on this, it is a piece of crap. Now, thank God, when they released the L85A1 mod, the NX variant, they put a 4 times magnification scope on it, and with the high accuracy, tapping is a breeze. So if you're thinking about this gun, and you're wanting, thinking, oh, I should try the GP gun before I buy the NX variant, don't. Because you're going to see this gun, think it's a piece of crap, and not want to buy the NX variant. Now, the NX variant is excellent, and I say that contrary because the burst mode in scope is actually usable. You can spray the burst mode in scope, not to mention the fact that it has excellent um, accuracy for long range tapping. I use the gun on Kill Creek every time I get it because it's wonderful for long ranges. So, one thing that you'll see me use, I use burst mode more often than not with this gun because that's the only way to control the spread. Now I'm going to get into the spread and this is where the gun hits the shitter. The spread recovery is probably the lowest in the game. I know for a fact it is slower spread recovery than the AK-47 GP basic variant. That should tell you right off the bat that this gun has the worst possible spread recovery you can have on a gun. Um, and on top of the fact that the spread gets absolutely massive, doesn't help the fact that this gun is not useful for anything. Even at absolute point-blank range, you can manage to miss people. And you're going to see me do that repeatedly. So... In all honesty, I wouldn't recommend this gun to anyone. Don't renew it if you happen to get out of a GP case. Curse your bad luck and then never touch the gun. Don't even use it. It's a waste of your time. Seriously. Don't touch this gun. I don't have a whole lot more to say about this gun. Uh, maybe a few other small things. It has automatic and burst fire, as you guys may have noticed already. It is customizable, although you cannot put a scope on it, which is obviously always, like, the most useful part of the gun. You can put an extended magazine and a suppressor on this. Now, honestly, this is a gun where I would suggest go ahead and put an extended mag 2 on. 
Um, you might as well. I mean, if you're spraying, you, all this gun is good for is spraying excessively close range, in which range you should probably be using an SMG anyway. Um, the first shot hits long range, and if you could put a scope on this gun, this gun wouldn't be half bad, really. You just wouldn't be able to spray out a scope, which is why I would suggest the G36 for this instead of something else, because even the basic GP, G, uh, G36 and even the KE, if you have access to it later on at a higher rank, they both come with scopes on them, high magnification scopes, which is great for tapping. So honestly, um, I try to spray long range here, I try to get up in people's faces, nothing works because this gun is a piece of crap. I saw, I, okay, now I want to get away from the gun for a second. I'm sorry for doing oil rig, and uh, I don't think I did much Kill Creek today. I got a bunch of reviews done today, though, guys, so uh, I'm probably going to release this review somewhere around here. So just a quick list of the ones I did today that you should be expecting soon. Uh, the M99-2, the M14, M416 camo, the TAR-21 camo, which I'm going to have even worse things to talk about. And the Scar L Black. The only other bad gun of this entire set is the TAR-21 camo, though. So, I mean, I'm going to have good stuff to say about a lot of the guns, except the two of these. Um, but, I mean, the sooner I get these bad guns out of the way that I don't even have access to yet, the less time I have to spend worrying about it. So, uh, I mean, it's one of my nightmares to do this gun, but uh, i got to do it. So Even this right here, if you saw that kill, rewind that kill if you didn't see it. I am spraying the guy full on in the face, right in his face, and every bullet manages to miss. I literally don't hit him once close range. That's how bad this gun is. You can't hit with this gun. It's so impossible. One of the only slight redeeming factors, and I hate to even mention redeeming factors with this gun because it's so bad, is like, I gotta say this, uh, the reload is actually very, very fast, which is another reason I wouldn't mind saying, uh, put on a magna, put on a, uh, extended mag because the reload's already, like, lightning fast, so I actually have to give them props for that, and the reload's even faster with the NX variant, so if you guys are an NX variant, if you're talking about the mod at all, don't even think this applies. None of the stuff I'm saying even applies, except the damage, because the damage is good, and the reload's even faster, so um, if anything I'm saying here makes you deter deters you from wanting to buy the NX variant, I say no. Unless you already have the G36, or you like the G36 so much that you want a similar gun, I recommend the L85A1 mod to just about anyone, because the scope makes the massive difference, but the spread outside is still not exactly amazing. It's still AK-47 spread, um, but it has higher fire rate, and the damage drop-off isn't as bad as the AK-47, which already isn't half bad, but that was a derp moment right there. The guy was right behind me. I didn't even see him, but then again, derp on him, too, for not turning around and shooting me first, but whatever. Um... Thank God I don't have a whole lot more to say about this gun. I don't think I'm going to put music in. I don't exactly have enough time for that. Uh, another thing that I don't like about this gun is that rail that's in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, the like rail that goes over the top of it. It just gets in your way. And there's a absolute... Think about it. If you can't put a scope on the gun, what purpose at all is there for that to be there? I mean, I understand things like the M4A1 and other guns that have that thing on top because you can put a scope on it. But what the hell is the point of putting it on a gun that you can't put a scope on? Now, I realize that's what the real gun looks like, and it is. This is a British rifle. Uh, it is a European rifle, and uh, this just proves that Europe doesn't know how to make good guns. No offense, but Germany's the only one that ever got good at that. And, uh, yeah, so. Now, that right there is just pawnage. When you can do that with a gun this shitty, I mean, you know that you can just kick the crap out of anyone. So, I mean, that was just pretty much awesome. I had to type pwned right there. It was just so worth it. And I actually spelled it out, so F you guys if you guys are trolls about that. But I don't really have a whole lot more to say about this. It's a crap gun. Don't buy it. Don't waste your renewals if you're a low-ranked person watching this review trying to renew it. It's a crap gun. You're never going to use it. You're never going to like it. Um, and if you guys are, for some reason, some fanboy or fangirl over this gun, well, I don't want to hear any crap from you guys because I don't care what you say. This gun is crap. I'm not saying that because I'm bad at using it. I played with this gun for about two hours. Solid. Only this gun. Not. I literally didn't even put another weapon in my backpack except for my pistol, which I tried not to use. Um, now, I actually get this kill right here, and I'm happy about this. Watch this. I actually get this kill, and I'm so happy about it. I'm like, yes, I got that kill. But then I get raped right around the corner, so uh, I'm about to die again. But anyway, if you guys are fanboys or fangirls of this gun, the spread screws you over. You can't put a scope on this gun. There's no reason that you can use this gun because the spread recovery is so low, and so and the spread itself is so high. That's just That sums up the gun. It's basically an AK-47 with low damage. It's just so not useful, but... Anyway, uh, as much as I hope, I, I don't even care if you enjoyed this review or not, but I really hope that you get, well, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the review, I mean, I always do, but I, the one thing I hope is that I've deterred you guys from ever buying this gun, ever, and that I've saved you the GP that it cost, because it is not worth it. I would not pay two GP for this gun, and I hope none of you guys would either. 
I don't have a whole lot more to say about the gun. I have less than a minute to talk, so uh, what's up? We like tacos. I'm saying this especially for Sniff, so hi Sniff. Tacos are awesome. <laughs> I had to point that out there. That's my one multi-kill in the game. I mean, I get that multi-kill, and I'm just like, yes, my life is complete. I got a multi-kill with this weapon. I officially call it quits, and I'm glad that I get the multi-kill before the game ends, because it's right before the game ends, and I'm just happy about that. Uh, anyway, so I'm literally going to do the commentary for my other reviews as soon as I finish this one, so my voice is going to be dead in the other ones, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do the Tar-21 camo probably next. Um, I actually managed to not kill both of these guys here, despite the fact that they tank a ton of it. Um, other than that, don't have a whole lot more to say about the gun. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. I've been having a lot of people do that recently. It's been a huge help to me. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys soon in my next review. Um, I'll be uploading as usual. See you guys later. Shadow Lance out. What the hell? How about the cocaine? I threw it all away, Dad. Motherfucker! You throw away all the cocaine! You know what the hell I had to do for the killer of the cocaine?